Welcome to Simply Fun's Online School of Playology. Today, we're going to explore the Mediterranean and search for ancient artifacts as we learn to play Simply Fun's Ancient Finds. Ancient Finds is an exciting game for people ages 8 and up and can be played with 2 to 5 players. In each Ancient Finds game box, you'll find 5 sight boards where you'll place your discovery cards, plus 10 bonus sight boards which may be purchased to expand your discovery card territory. 40 discovery cards that display the artifacts and values players can collect. 20 adventure cards that may help you gain artifacts or make an opponent lose them. There are 50 ancient artifacts of varying value that players collect on their turns. And 5 8-sided dice which players will roll to match or exceed values on their discovery cards. Finally, you'll find 10 archaeologist pawns that players may hire to help them discover and collect more artifacts. In Ancient Finds, players will learn addition skills as they add dice values to match discovery cards and add the artifact values to make purchases. They'll also learn prediction skills, determining the best time to purchase bonus sites and archaeologists to ensure the highest values at the end of the game. To set up the game, shuffle the discovery and adventure cards separately and place them in two face-down stacks in the center of the play area with space for a discard pile beside each stack. Place all the ancient artifacts near the cards, as shown, and set three of the dice out in the play area. Give each player one sight board. Then, players will draw three discovery cards and place them, number side up, on their sight boards. To start the game, the first player will roll three of the dice three times. Each time they roll, they will place one die on a discovery card. The goal is to place the die on a discovery card so that the number on the die is equal to or greater than the number on the card. On the second roll, only two dice are rolled, and the player adds one dice to an existing or new discovery card. If they place two dice on the same card, the number on the dice are added together. Now the player rolls the last die, and like the previous roll, adds the die to an existing or new discovery card. Once all the rolls are complete, the player reviews the dice on the cards and collects his discovered artifacts. Here's how it works. If the number on the die or the sum of dice is equal to the number on the card, the player collects that value of artifacts and discards the discovery card. If the number on the die or sum of dice is greater than the number on the card, the player collects the value of artifacts shown at the bottom of the card and discards the discovery card. If the number on the die is less than the number on the card, the player may not collect any artifacts and the discovery card remains on the board. Once a turn is over, the player passes three of the dice to the left and play continues with the next player. Once each player has taken one turn, it's time to start the second round of play. On each player's second turn and all following turns, players may choose a few additional actions each turn on each turn, players must replenish their sideboards to replace any discovery cards that were discarded last turn. Before they roll the dice, players may also draw an adventure card. Players may use adventure cards at any time during their own turn, or they may give it to another player at the start of the turn. When given to an opponent, it must be given before their opponent rolls the dice, and their opponent must use the adventure card on that turn. Sell artifacts to purchase a bonus site. Bonus sites cost $500 worth of artifacts and give players an additional discovery card that they can match to collect artifacts. Each player may have no more than two bonus sites at any time during the game. Hire an archaeologist. Archaeologists cost $700 and give players an additional die to roll on their turn. Players may have no more than two archaeologists at any time during the game. Once a player has completed their rolls and collected their artifacts, it's the next player's turn. The game continues with players rolling dice, collecting artifacts, drawing adventure cards, purchasing bonus sites, and hiring archaeologists until the stack of discovery cards runs out. Once there are no more cards and players cannot replenish their sites, the game is over. Players then count their artifacts, and the player with the highest total value wins the game. Take a chance on adventure and collect ancient treasures with Simply Fun's Ancient Finds. 